You are watching TFI. Hold your horses, mate. I know we're looking at some cool F1 cars, but I've got a pretty decent reason to revisit Autodesk Vred on the channel. I've recently bought it into my day job for some pretty awesome real world use cases that I've come up with for uh, like design reviews, sales, training, simulation, that kind of stuff. And I thought this is pretty relevant to the channel because you lot out there might find this useful as well because Vred's got a bit of a reputation as being unobtainably expensive. Uh, or at least that's what I always thought, but it's not really the case. If you go for Vred Professional, which is what this is, this is an NFR license, but uh, if you were to buy Vred Professional, it's very, very expensive. But there's a license called Vred Design, which does pretty much everything I needed to do. And it's cheaper than Inventor, mate. It's cheaper than a full license of AutoCAD, and it can do everything I'm about to show you here. So, yeah, I don't do Formula One cars in my day job. I do, uh, the, the company that I work for do seabed, tractors and plows, unmanned, underwater vehicles, that kind of stuff. And bringing those into Vred is amazing. It's absolutely incredible. We showed one of our clients their vehicle before it was built uh, in, in VR yesterday, and he was blown away instantly. Almost got a return on the money we'd spent on the entire system in one sitting by showing the client uh, his vehicle in VR. Huge vehicle, 16 meters long, 10 meters wide. It was a win and deal straight away. So if you think to yourself, yeah, it's fair enough, mate, but uh, you know, you, you know what you do and I don't really know what, mate, watch, right? You want to bring something from Inventor into V-Red. All you do is you click import on the top and then you browse your assembly. You don't even need to pick up all the parts. You don't have to mess about with all the quality settings. You just click import. It goes away, collects all your parts, compiles them all together and drops it into V-Red before I can finish even explaining it. And then there you go. There's your Inventor assembly. It brings it in. It look, I mean, this is just a bit of metal bar. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. I just picked it at random. But um, there it is, all held together. Uh, if you want to make it look a little bit more sexy, well, you can drop some shadows onto it very quick and easily. Just say, drop me some ambient shadows on so it looks a little bit more realistic. And it'll go and detect the light sources and drop some shadows on it. There you go. And if you want to make it look a little bit more metal, because it's just kept the inventor textures, well, you can just I don't know, go to, let's, let's find a proper red material. We'll go for a bit of aluminium. There we go. Drop that onto it. And then it looks pretty decent mate it looks pretty decent and then all you do is you go into vr and you can look at it a one-to-one -one scale in vr by simply going view turn on your oculus display so i'm going to bend up i'm going to bend over ladies <laughs> put on the vr headset now and then in two shakes of a lamb's tail i need to pick up the uh the hand controllers hold the line caller there we are right so here's me hands in vr and then with uh, Vred, I'm in Vred 2020.1 here, we've got full teleportation where we can just drop ourselves right in front of our inventor model and we can give it a good inspect. So this is what I was showing our engineers yesterday. It wasn't just a bit of metal bar, it was a massive vehicle with cutting chains on it and uh, caterpillar tracks and all kinds of tube and pipe and, and they could, li I'm not even joking, the, the first thing the guys did was just stick their, ow, I've just, <laughs> I just head butted the microphone. Oh, apologies, headphone users. But uh, they, I'll do it with the car. It's probably a lot easier to do this. Right, let's uh, stick my head in the middle of the car. Like this. And they can, just, they can just check out the internals of all their inventor models. But with this uh, Red 2020.1 as well, you've got this little tool palette on your left hand where you can turn on a flashlight mate and you can get into some dark bits and start poking a flashlight around like this. I'm running out of space here. You can't see the room I'm in, but uh, I'm very limited for space. I am actually working on that. I can't even get my hand where I need to get my hand because I'm hitting desk and stuff. But yeah, look at this, mate. This is incredible. There's a dark area in your model that you can't really see. Just turn on the flashlight. You can control this flashlight as well. You can you can configure how bright it gets, how wide the, uh, the cone of light is. And you can really poke around your designs. And, uh, and see if there's any clashes going on in there, if there's any interference, can, can you get access to something? It's mental. Not only that, you may have noticed there's a measure tool which you can just go, right, I want to measure something, and then you can go, right, measure from here over to here. Right, okay, that's 1.5 meters. Okay, what about from here over to here? About two meters, which is indeed the width of a Formula One car. And, mate, it's, it just it gets better. What you can also do as well, and this is what we're going to be doing, like no joke, not no pie in the sky, no like, oh, in an ideal world, we could do this in the future, which will never happen. No worry, we are going to do this. Show avatars 
and then gather users and you can gather a group of people and have a collaborative session so right over here we could have one of the engineers in china right over here we could have an engineer in the uk over here we could have an engineer in the us all looking at the same design in the same session and then you could all talk to each other over microphones you can just point at you know you could see each other's hands you can see each other's heads and you can all point at the same thing doing a collaborative global design review in vr mate this is actually stuff you can do right now it, it's it's affordable it's genuinely affordable so um yeah i just thought i'd share this mate because this is something that i've, I've brought into the company i'm at now we are going to be we're using it we are using it right now and it's uh it's not it's not unobtainably expensive either and the, the quality of the visuals mate i mean i know i'm looking at a formula one car which is not the same as most inventor assemblies or you know autocad drones and models and whatever else you might stick into vr you can stick an autocad drone into vr but you know what i mean they're formula one cars it's as cool as it gets but I wish I could show you the vehicle that I showed the client yesterday. I just unfortunately I can't. It's it's their data. I, I just w wouldn't have permission, even though it's modelled by my company. Uh, we we wouldn't have the permission to show it. But um, just being able to take their inventor data and put them right in front of it so they can inspect it and uh, even take measurements on the inventor data from there to there. Oh, that mate, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Flashlight. Take a good poke around it. So uh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff you can do on this, which I haven't quite set up yet. Things like the the viewpoints, which are set camera orientated. You can just say, like, I'm gonna go to a certain view. I think I've got one from sitting down in the car. Just press this and it'll take me to sitting down in the car. Yeah, but you've got also like things like uh, variant sets, which is like, how, what would that be an inventor? Like view representations, different model configurations. So. One of our vehicles have got big chain cutters on them and you can have them deployed and stowed and you know it'll change the constraints to be you know a tool up tool down that kind of stuff that's all your variant sets um you can also sort of climb onto objects as well so this vehicle sort of 10 meters high you can um turn off teleport ground and it'll actually let you jump on top of a model which it's going to be very difficult to do that with a thin pull but um See, I'm now on top of the car where you can, you know, if you're on a high assembly, you can jump up onto models to see things from a higher viewpoint, which is pretty cool. So, mate, yeah, that's that's Fred 2020.1 delivering the goods in VR, mate. Um, it's yeah, that's, that's what all I really wanted to show you, mate, because it's available to be used right now. It's not beta, it's not tech preview stuff. This is in my company right now and it could be in yours and it's not outrageously expensive in terms of the rest of the gear yeah there's more of an expenditure than just the software itself you've got it by the vr headset which i'm using the rift s at the moment which is, it's 400 quid 400 pounds 400 dollars that's pennies when it comes to what this is going to actually give you in real terms for project benefits and uh, the pc that you need to get I mean, people, whatever I say here, someone would argue, but at an absolute minimum, you're talking about a thousand to fifteen hundred pounds or dollars to get a PC that's good enough to run this. But the more money you throw at it, the better of performance you're going to get. The more, you know, the faster you're going to be able to set up scenes. Uh, the more money you throw at it. But um, yeah, that's it, mate. That's it. I absolutely love this. I'm going to try and do more stuff on the channel with this. It's just like, how how do I present it and you know, what, what do I do? But uh, I'll, I'll have a think about that. That's my problem, not yours. But anyway, mate, there you go. Autodesk V-RED 2020.1. Have a think about it, mate. Take a look at the sales page. Check it out. If you need, if, if you necessarily need to, but if you think that design reviews in VR and sales in VR is something that could benefit your company, mate, seriously give this a thought. All right. That's all I've got. See you in the next one. Toodles.